the post battle movement phase. And uh, the reaction player gets to go first. A key lawyer legalese uh, phrase here is active reaction player units. All right, those are units that you activated. There were no activations for the uh, allied player at the beginning of this game, so none of no units apply. But we did have the two carriers out there, and you cannot have your units wandering around. They either got to be in port or supporting a, a fight. So we moved them back. I don't know. I guess you could. They, I guess they were the only active units that were up for the U.S. But other than that, there really ain't any active units here for a U.S. player. So, uh, and another thing is, if I did have a allied player or reaction player unit in a hex that was controlled by the uh, offensive player, then I'd have to move them out for an emergency. I don't. Emergency movement, uh, naval movement. I don't have that, but that does apply to them. So as far as the uh, reaction naval movement post-battle for the uh, reaction player, we just moved the carriers back to Pearl. I guess that's what it's all about. We'll see here. Let me look here real quick if there's anything past that. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We got, we got an audience here waiting. All right, let's see here. Resolve all battles. We'll put any attack reaction cards. Players can tuck both pulse battle movement. All necessary naval uh, emergency movements. Oh, so that's a whole other phase. All right, well, the allied player won't have, or the allied player won't have any post battle movements except by the uh, ships going back to Pearl. Now we'll go back to the, we'll go to the uh, offensive player. We'll see what we want to do. I don't think we got any units. We got units in airfield, so that's fine. They don't have to go anywhere else. If I want to move them around, I guess I could. Let me look at the rules. We'll be right back. All right, so let's see here. After reaction, post battle movement. Oh. After reaction, post battle movement. All active offensive air units may conduct post battle. Oh, after this player. Okay, after this player does, and this player does. That's what it is. All active offensive air units. And then all active, the ones that have been activated, area naval units may conduct post-battle movement. So I think I will. There's some units up here that are at their airfields now. If they can move to another one, and what's the procedure on that? We'll be back. All right, well, there is a deal here about emergency movement if the inactive reaction player has units in an area that's occupied by another, I think... I'll look underneath that for emergency movement, but it doesn't have anything underneath here. Huh. Just tell us we can move. That's about it. Any active, any active units can move. Huh. I'll have to check that out. I guess they're required. They're going to have to get out of there. We'll be back. All right. Well, I'm on low battery, so it's going to be quick. Um, it doesn't really specify. It doesn't specify at all. I guess the units could stay there, but it's not a port in a friendly controlled hex so they gotta leave all right you got these units here which is the ground unit there they have to end their movement at a friendly controlled port so they gotta move they gotta get out of there that's all there is to it now these units here that are by the well he's on it yeah these units here these units here all three of these units gotta leave because they're not ending their movement at a friendly controlled port the port is still controlled by the enemy so that's all I have to do. That'll be fine. That's, I'm glad I just came up with that because there's nothing like that in the rules. We'll be right back. All right, then. Number one will be the... Oh. Uh, Ryujo. And we'll move him 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. A stacking limit for uh, naval units is 6. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 here. See if we move any more. Be back. I think I'm going to keep these cruisers with the local. So we'll put those right here at the Pelu Islands. There you go. We'll just yeah, I'll keep them like this. It's fine for now. Uh, who else? 
Next, we have to evacuate the spot here at Latte. These more cruisers. I think we'll do the same thing. Oh, it's a big battleship, though. Well, we'll keep. We want to keep these guys close for this more operations we got going on in this area. So we'll keep him here. He'll retreat to that spot. We've got a carrier up here. He has to find some place to go within 15 hexes. We are back. All right, 13 hexes away was our new spot at Wake. So we have one, two, three, four, five. One away from stacking limits on Wake. We have one more unit here that has to exit because he is in a non-controlled area. There is a battleship and a cruiser. We'll be right back. All right, we'll keep them local too. So let's move right across the bay here to old Cannon. And they will stop. All right. I can move any activated units. These guys had to get out of there. So now I can move my aircraft around and stuff like that. Oops, hold on a second. He can get over there like this. There you go. All right. Remember the mandatory uh, moves. I still got carriers up here. I might want to. Oh, he wasn't activated. All right, activated has to be the key. So there you go. That to be activated. We will uh, maybe. I oh, can't move ground units. Let me see. We'll be right back. Oh, uh, after reaction post battle movement all active. Well. After reaction, post battle movement. Oh, that was these guys. That also throws me off. Uh, after reaction, player moves. All offensive air units. Uh, after reaction, post battle movement. All active offensive air and naval units may conduct post battle movement. So it's only for the air units and the naval units. Uh, ground units don't apply. We do have some spots with some air units that were activated that we might want to reposition. That would be that group here, or maybe this one over here. We got one that's there too, so we will see what we want to do with that. We'll be right back. All right, continuing here some post IAI operations, and all we got left to do now is to move the, the air units up in the air, the ones that are uh, available for movement. The air line air units have been active. Now I'm thinking I got an offensive coming up here, and I could use it. Looks like I got enough forces. Plenty of forces. I sh this should be a steamroll. How many air units do I want to contribute? Uh, he has a range of five. After one, two, three, four, five. He can get in there. So, these air units here, I think, are just going to be used for the next phase coming down this way against the Philippines. I guess that's the right way you got to do it. I mean, historically, you just got to go that way. Just depends on different players card play and that's about the very end of the game <clears throat> excuse me let me clear my throat all right talking too much <laughs> uh oh here you, here you go look at that one how you like that that's a, a grognard can appreciate that that's a work of art right there all those units <laughs> so uh all right what are we going to do what are we going to do and we got another unit over here but i think we'll keep him within range so uh I believe the only thing we're going to do is try to get an extra hex or something out of this. So we will put our air units here. Flip them around the right way. Just give them one extra. They're going to fly to this flat spot here. Oh, we got to do it the right way. On top of the two ships. Get it all straightened out for us here. And I think that... Oops. We got two... Two planes that crash landed. All right, I think that's going to be it. Let me look at everything here. We'll get you straightened out. We'll be right back. All right, then. After everything is completed, this card is done. We're finished with it. Uh, hold on a second here. Let me take a little cough break. All right, here's a look at the map. Now, like I said, oh, I don't want to say that again. Like I mentioned earlier, here's what our battle hexes were, and the units are pretty well whittled down uh, I guess we had a naval air offensive on the Philippines before we could move any infantry on in we took care of Hong Kong and we're moving up around uh, Vietnam around Bangkok I guess Thailand Burma up around here but there you go everybody's ready to go set 
big force out here at Wake coming on in. Now, I did move the carriers back out here because uh, we, we got a little bit ahead of ourselves. Uh, at the end, and you'll go back here to the scenario. Go back out here to the scenario. And I just seen this, and it just crossed my mind. They got us all taken care of, though. Uh, here you go. So it gives you a lot of explanations about this card. So look at this card and then look at the scenario. It tells you. There's also within five continuous. And it's basically what they say here, but a little bit more expanded. But what's key is down here. We're done with this card now. At the conclusion of the IAI, the Allies get a one-time emergency naval move for all their naval units. Huh. After this Allied... After the Allied action finish out the remaining phase of the turn... Accept the attrition phase and then start normal play. So there you go. We will do that. All the allied naval units get to have a, an emergency naval movement. We'll be right back. All right, then, well, that's basically for as far as two carriers out here. So we'll go ahead and do what we did it earlier. But now we're doing according to procedure. And it is a one time movement for all naval units. So let me look over here and see if there's a couple. We got a few naval units here, but. That's just moving them within a port within 10 hex range. I don't know. I guess we could maybe do something. And the enemy zones of influence don't apply. Oh, skip attrition and start a normal play. We might take advantage of that. We just might. We have us one unit down here. And I'm just going to place him in a port within 10 hexes, and that'll be up here at Port Mosby. We'll move the Kent. Oh, this unit here at Terracan. We're going to move him to Manila. Definitely within 10 hexes. And, and these are chump change little, <laughs> little scuttle boats, but it'll give us something. Oh, uh, we got a couple other ones here. Oh, 8 and 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he can go there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. We just placed him there, it says. So we're placing him into Rangoon because Rangoon is getting bared down on. Oh, we got another one over here. Whoa. All right, hold on. Uh, he's out of range. But this boy ain't. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Yeah. We will definitely put him in Rangoon also. So Rangoon's getting built up. At the end of our turn here, that'll help, that'll help, that'll help. And then, like I said, we'll be going on to the Erasmus solitaire, solitaire card system. So we'll be checking that out. What, do we have any more units that can be moved? What do I do with him? He'll be all right there. You know what, though? Let's move him. Yeah, we got all hands on deck. Everybody gets moved. If they don't need to be, he will move 10. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess it don't matter. Yeah, we'll just move him there just to get closer to the action. All right, that is it. All right, we'll skip the attrition phase. Am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. Oh, go over here to offensives. Uh... Players conduct post-battle movement. Reaction player, player first. Conduct all necessary emergency naval movements. Bam. I think that's it. Step 14. We are back to a new turn. All right. Let me do some. Let me see. It's turn number two. All right. Japanese go back to zero. They have seven. Amphibious shipping points left. They will reset. Move, oops, sorry about that. Move down here. All right. Offensives. Player unit activation. That's all. It's no big deal. Uh, we'll be back. Hold on. All right. So we have finished the. Uh, yeah, let me get back over here. The scenario page. Let's see what we go to next. Sorry, I should have had that set up already. 
at this gentleman right here. All right, at the conclusion of A1, uh, I, A1, the Allies get one time emergency naval move. We did that. After this, Allied actions finish out the remaining phases of the turn, except for the attrition phase, and then we start normal play. So we just got done with the emergency phase. We'll go back over here to the sequence of play, and uh, we'll go on next to the national status segment. We already checked this out. Nobody's fulfilled the uh, surrender criteria yet. But that is a, <clears throat> hold on a second. That is an important part of the game. It's something we'll be figuring out as our uh, moves continue. It's how to conquer and get uh, countries to surrender. That's a big part, of, big part of the game. And that affects your opponent's hand size. So we'll be going after that as a target for each player. All right. Adjust the political will track for any conditions noted in Rule 16.4. We will go to that next. Be right back. All right, nothing significant to report on the U.S. political will uh, track. Nothing really happens the first part of the game. That's when units. These two uh, phases here have to do with the uh, country surrendering and where you can occupy uh, certain areas like Alaska and the Aleutian Islands. But like I said, we're still early in the game. We skip this. Oh, where does it say that at? Skip the attrition phase. Oh, back to the scenarios. Oh, blah, 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 allies, blah, blah, blah. Emergency after this, they finish out the game. Accept the attrition phase. And then start normal phase play. So, we skip the attrition phase. We'll go on to the end of turn phase. We'll go on to turn number two. If the U.S. political marker is at zero, allied victory has occurred last game turn if none of these conditions are true advance the game turn marker want and conduct a new turn so we're going on to current game turn number two we will uh, we have already adjusted this we should have done this until now but we've adjusted the shipping down to here oh let me see here wow Game turn markers and rules. That's been conducted on its other side or removed Tokyo's first marker, blah, blah, blah. As indicated by rules. All right, we're going to take a break here and go on and find out what we do for turn number two. We'll be right back. 